Hello everyone, I'm Dan. Unlike my other projects on this channel, this is a more serious one. I've been working on this mobile RPG game for quite a while and it is coming along alright. Let me quickly introduce the game to you. Story. You're playing as a captured soldier forced to fight in the arenas. End of story. It is a mobile game, so no one cares. Gameplay. I wanted this game to have simple and comfortable controls. You move the character with one finger and he attacks automatically when enemies enter his trigger collider. You can also throw spear if you have one. It is a lot smaller than I expected. The goal is to complete levels, defeat the bosses at the end of each arena and become free again. At first I plan to have 45 levels and if the game will have even a small success I'll add more. But let's be real, I'll get like 100 downloads even after I start the marketing campaign for it in Google. The main menu contains a shop, an inventory, arena select screen, skills and settings panels. I know what you're all thinking. Another one of those filthy mobile games that's whole purpose is to get maximum profit from ads. Unethically and vile. But this is not my main goal here. Sure, it will be nice to finally earn a dollar or two from my own game after making them for years, but I won't be obnoxious with advertisements. I will only make rewarded videos that are not necessary to watch and maybe add small banners at the bottom of the screen every now and then. In my only other game with ads in it, Don't Burst, an opportunity to watch an ad only appears after 7 deaths every other level and it allows the player to skip that level. I'm actually making a dissertation in the university based on this game and in it I have to show the economic effect. I managed to assemble a team of three people, including myself, to work on this game. One modeler and one to the artist. And as you can see, they are not putting a lot of effort into this. After three months, they only done five models and three sprites. Not a whole lot. They aren't doing shit actually, I'm sorry. Every time I try to create a team, it looks like this. You got the point, it's super annoying. I have a full-time job and studies in the university from 19 to 22 hours. I wake up at 6.50 to go to the gym and train and I still find some time to devote to this game. Come on, I don't force you to work with me. You contacted me because you wanted to be an indie, so grab yourself by the balls and find 15 minutes a day if you want to be called an indie game developer. I'm sorry, this just frustrates me. So here is what I have at this point. I think that it would be possible to finish this game in a month and then polish it if my team members made the assets. I'll finish this game anyways even if I have to find free assets online once again, but just imagine how it would look on my dissertation defense. As you can see here, innovative gameplay, superb design, uh, polished assets. I will make more videos about this game. Thanks for watching and bye bye.